Alfred Seddon in 1992 from an original cine film made by Barbara Weber in 1972. The original soundtrack was made by John Chaplin and spoken by Bernard Docker and now for technical reasons is narrated by Wilfred Seddon. Architecturally, St Peter's Church, Torstock, near Barnstable, is one of the most interesting of Devon churches. You will see the church nestled below Torstock Court in the beautiful valley leading from the village down to the River Tor. Its early 14th century constructional work combined with one of the most noticeable collections of monuments in England to give a rare impression of unspoiled early medieval beauty. The church was mainly erected about 1330 with a tall central tower. In the south porch, the sundial is unique, a masterpiece by a local man, John Berry of Muddiford, and the date 1757. It indicates noon at various cities in the old and new world, from ancient Samarkand in the east to Boston, New England in the west. The strength of the church of tomorrow is the youth of today. You will see how Torstock carries on in the glorious traditions of their forefathers as they prepare for a baptismal service. Mrs. Barnes with the baby Toby. Jeremy Thorpe, the MP for North Devon, notices our sundial and points out Babylon and Jerusalem the holy city revered by Jew, Christian and Muslim alike. The inscription watch and pray time steals away. Michael Barnes, a local solicitor, the father. The font is near the church door. Our Sunday school teacher is now wondering just how long it will be before the baby will be joining the Sunday school. Baptised, you are a child of God and a member of the church. I baptize thee in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In the vestry, the rector makes an entry in the church registers. Ours are very old, dating from 1558, going back to Tudor times. Until the reign of Queen Victoria, these form the only records of births, marriages, and deaths. The photographer taking the usual family groups, proud mother and father and the infant, the infant and the godmother. Ours is a scattered country parish until about ten years ago we had a church bus and now we see the children walking to church from surrounding farms and cottages. These are the Lawson children, Elizabeth, Gillian and John walking from Smemmington. In the village, John is sent down to the post office with a letter while his sisters wait patiently. And they pass through the gate into the park of Torstock Court on their way down to the church. The children file out of church during the second hymn and go into the vestry for Sunday school. Advent Sunday commences the church's year 
and appropriately the children have made Advent candles, one candle to be lit on each of the four Sundays in Advent, and so the Christian church progresses from darkness to light. the second Sunday in Advent. The third Sunday in Advent. The collection is now taken in the Sunday school Bless, O Lord, these gifts to thy use. The fourth Sunday in Advent. The teacher explains to the children the mystery of Advent. Back in the church again, we see young Toby in his caricot. He comes very regularly to church. nearing Christmas and the children prepare the nativity crib. The figures of the Holy Family and shepherds are modelled in local potter's clay by Graham Taylor, who was a Torstock woodcarver. The Thomas twins were there with young Mark. For Epiphany, the figures of the wise men are added to the tableau by Carol and Susan. They represent wise men from afar, from Persia and Ethiopia and far away China, bringing gold, frankincense and myrrh. Here we are in the new year and the lambing season. The lamb has always been closely associated with the Christian church. We have the paschal lamb and of course the symbol of the good shepherd. Confirmation time and our one candidate is seen walking to Torstock Rectory for preparation lessons. Elizabeth Lawson later to become Elizabeth Taylor. Tostock Court. Port Royal in the West Indies is shown, but this was destroyed by a terrible tidal wave and earthquake. It was the lair of pirates of the Spanish main. Tenerife is also shown. One year the Sunday school sent Christmas decorations to the English church on the island. and we leave the sundial and go out to the village because today is Saturday and tomorrow will be Mothering Sunday. We see the village from Torstock Woods. In the woods, some of the children are with teachers and their parents. We can see young Sally Squance and her brothers Christopher and Colin Margaret Squance is there, I see their mother. That is Susan Yeo, and with her Francis Gregory, later to marry our organist Malcolm Elliot. And back to the church they go, there to make poses for Mothering Sunday.
mothering Sunday and the children arrive early. Carol, Nigel and Ian Shapland, the Thomas twins, Susan and Carol, Terry and Kim Parker, Mrs. Squance and Sally, Mrs. Taylor and young Mark, our day school headmistress, Mrs. Mitchell, with young Andrew, and the rector waits for the children to come up the church, bringing their poses. He accepts them in the name of the church. And blesses the poses. A glance at the hourglass, which reminds us of how long the sermons were in Victorian times. Sunday school lesson is over, and the children come out into the church, collect their poses, and go up the aisle to greet their mothers, who are patiently waiting. Margaret Squance and young Sally, Carol and Mrs. Shapland, and Ian, Andrew and Mrs. Mitchell, and there is the pram with baby Rachel. Aren't we lucky we've got a donkey and today is Palm Sunday. There is the cross on the donkey's back telling the world that he carried our Lord in triumph into Jerusalem. The Easter garden prepared by the Sunday school. The font decorated for Easter. The prayer desk smothered in daffodils. The altar rail, similarly covered with Easter lilies, the local name for daffodils. A confirmation service at Oliver Discot Church, our candidate Elizabeth brings up the rear. Reverend Plummer, Vicar of Atherington. The Right Reverend Wilfred Westall, Bishop of Crediton. Defend, O Lord, this thy servant, that she may continue thine forever and daily increase in thy Holy Spirit. Bishop of Crediton blesses the congregation. After the service, everyone repairs to the church hall. Vickers chat with the mothers. And then the bishop joins. Bye bye, bishop. A year or so later, we had our own confirmation service, and after that, two people came for their first communion. The celebrant is Reverend Roger Reeves.
go forth in the name of the Lord. The squire's pew is a remarkable piece of carving made by English workmen in the French Renaissance style in the reign of King Henry VIII. The coming Saturday was the Sunday school outing. This year we went to Ilfracombe Zoo and then on to Linton and Lynmouth. Graham Taylor getting into the coach and his father, Alf Taylor, who some years later was to become people's warden. Now we are at Ilfracoon Zoo. Kerry and Nigel. Sally enjoying the swing. The Sunday school wait at the bottom of Lynmouth to take the cliff railway and go on up to Linton. Here they are at the top of the cliff railway. We are now at Walter's Meat, all ready for tea. The village school. There are only two thatch schools in the whole of England. We are very proud of ours. It's a Church of England school, but these days it is administered by the Devon County Education Authority. You will see an exhibition here of some of the children's work. John Andrew, followed by John Lange, and Carol Westaway coming in front of the camera. Looks like Ian Shapland, the headmistress, Mrs. Mitchell. There's Nigel Shapland. We're back in the church again to examine the tomb of the third Earl of Bath and his wife. That would seem to be a child who had died in infancy. The goat in the background here represents the Duke of Bedford's family. The Countess of Bath came from that noble family. family motto, Bon Tomp Viandra, being translated would seem to say a good time will come. Harvest time and young Francis and the Sunday school are once again helping with the decorations.
Mrs. Smallridge and Francis helping with the decoration of one of the windows. And Frank Thorne shows us just how quickly the south transept can be decorated. The congregation begins to arrive, the Barnes family, Mrs. Docker with a friend from Australia, the Parkers, Mrs. Hill and Mrs. Butler, Len Passmore and Mrs. Short, about your ray, the lord of the manor. Watch and pray, time steals away. The people of Torstock have worshipped in this church for 800 years. This altar frontal was made to commemorate Rachel, Countess of Bath. The children bring their gifts to the altar and the rector receives them in the name of the church. Mark seems very reluctant to go. The sundial again reminding us of many other places under the sun in different parts of the world. The mountain block against the church wall reminding us of the farmers of Torstock that used to come on their horses to church. The Italian plaster ceiling. And now the minstrel gallery, which was saved from Torstock church when it was destroyed by fire in 1797. Here is Jimmy Easterbrook, captain of the Bell Ringers for over 30 years, closely followed by Jack Pierce, who has now had to retire because of arthritis. We have an eight bell peel, cast between 1753 and 1794, and two of them in the 1930s. an old Sunday school scholar was prepared for her wedding and outside the church she comes with her father.
Shalom Job, dated 1812, the inscription on it says, the youngest ringer shall carry the jug. They must have been thirsty. The Sunday school have their own stall at the annual bazaar in the autumn each year. Funds raised usually go to a missionary society or the Church of England Children's Society. Ah, what's happening now? It's young Toby once again. This is the baby that was baptised at the beginning of the film. He's now a toddler, getting into everything. And of course, he's a member of the Sunday school, there with his brother and sister. Mrs. Mason retired from the job of Sunday school teacher after over 20 years of service. She is presented with gifts from the Sunday school children, past and present, and makes a suitable reply. A cheque is presented to the rector, who retired on the same day. set of carved nativity figures. Bishop gives the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>